was like, y'all please come hang out with us, hang out with me today. We'll get the full. And so, here we go. Excited, James. I mean, I'm gonna need you to calm it down a little bit. Just calm it down just a smidge. You're just a little too excited. Y'all wondering why we have the window cracked? It's because somebody, somebody right there that's licking my finger has gas. <laughs> yeah, I called you out. <laughs> I'm glad he wants his daddy right now. <laughs> oh, rocking the windshield. What else is new? Y'all, look at the cabinets. What is this color called, Delana? On the cabinets? Oh my goodness, they look so. They're so. They look so good. I'll list it on the screen what this cabinet color is. And look, they got the ceiling fixed where the uppers were. Getting the walls painted. Oh my goodness. Look at this. And look, this opens this up so much having that dark color off that wall. Oh my goodness. Amazing. It's, of course it's not finished, but y'all, this is what the color was. And they've painted the walls agreeable gray by Sherwin Williams. And then the navy that they're using is called Naval. It's like the one I painted our office with. But this is looking so good. That's looking so good. So good. They still got to get their Polaris to get the bottom done, but. Looks good. We're just gonna be right up here anyway. <laughs> Buster. Scoping everything out. Benson scoping everything out. We got some watermelon. Yum. Finally got a good watermelon, y'all. Benson. You like that watermelon? You like the watermelon? You want some more? <laughs> you want some more water? Blah, blah, blah. You want some more watermelon? Mm -hmm. fun in the pool but now she's just gonna put me to work and since Benson's room is completely like finished we're gonna go in there and try to clean it because she took all this stuff out and washed it all off so we're gonna go in there and try to clean the floors and get it clean so maybe she'll be happy y'all see are y'all getting the picture she entices me with the pool oh come hang out with me in the pool I'm gonna be by myself today because Tyler's gone. Let's hang out in the pool and then we get here. Oh, let's clean Vincent's room. Mm -hmm. mm, always an ulterior motive. But anyway, we've been in the pool, what, two or three hours by now? I've ate just about a half of a watermelon by myself. No, you have not. Look, this is all that's left of that watermelon. And I ate a good bit. And Benson's been eating it too, so. He's going to be peeing like crazy. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go clean and then we're going to, she's going to take me home. James and Buster left. So, fun times. Fun times to be had. Benson, did you enjoy the watermelon? <laughs> this is their new dolphin. Going to clean the pool for them. Got to let all the salt dissolve first and then. They're gonna put it in there. Are you excited about having this to clean your pool, Delana? Yeah. It's all coming together. The painters should be finished with everything Tuesday. And 
then we can get in here and just start cleaning and but she'll have to work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so it'll probably be next week before the next week before um, I can come over and help her clean because this week my mom is recovering. She'll be had surgery and recovering from surgery. So <sighs> busy weeks, busy, busy, busy. a day. Delana just left. She, um, James come home earlier with Buster and she and I cleaned, you know, I told y'all about that. Um, we got that, the top layer done. I mean, of course there's going to need, it's going to need more, but it gets the first layer off anyway. So she feels better. So she brought me home and she let me cook for her and she's so precious. So I made her some blackened tilapia and rice pilaf. That's what we have for dinner. She just left, and y'all, I am so tired. Me and her both, as we were driving here, we are like, I forgot how much swimming takes out of you. It just literally takes it out of you. I'm so tired. So I think your girl is gonna call it a day because I'm gonna go get me a shower, wash my hair, and then just do nothing the rest of the day, which I mean, it's like five o'clock, I think. Four or five o'clock, anyway. James is going to Lowe's and Harbor Freight so he can do some more out in the garage. And I'm going to just do nothing. Well, I say that, I'm gonna be starting editing and all that kind of stuff. But as far as like doing stuff, your girl is tired. So we will pick back up at a later date. Hey y'all, so I am dressed in my thrifted shirt that y'all seem to really love in my table video. Um, I have some black like capri jeans, um, holy jeans. Um, we are waiting on the call from my daughter. We are going to meet them, Tyler and Delana, and his mom and dad and them, and we're gonna go have lunch and celebrate Tyler's birthday. And um, then we're gonna come back home. And then later on this afternoon, I'm gonna go stay with my mom and take her for her surgery. So James and Buster will be bacheloring it tonight. Mm. Mm. Don't know how that's gonna go, but <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, we're just waiting to hear from them when it's time to meet them to go eat. He wanted hibachi, so we're just gonna, it's really close to our house. It's a little bit of a drive for them, but anyway, we're gonna go have some hibachi, which will be perfect lunchtime for us. And yeah, go celebrate Tyler. I'm telling you, this has been a weekend of celebrations, a wedding, son in law's birthday, pool day. <laughs> um, we've just had a busy, fun weekend. They don't happen like this often, so when they do, we just enjoy every minute but let me show y'all what I'm looking at. Look at that. Buster getting his suntan on. You get your suntan on, Bob? Are you sunning? <laughs> oh my goodness. You had enough? Ooh, that's a big stretch. Have I had enough? Buster and I are sitting out here waiting on James to get dressed. Um, We've just been kind of taking it slow today, but, um, yeah. But y'all, this shirt I got from the thrift store, I bought it and I bought a pair of black shorts. The shorts fit, um, they're just a little tight in the waist, tighter than what I really want to wear, but I'm, I kept them because they're not so tight that I can't wear them. 
You want to say hello? The humbug. <laughs> but anyway, this is my thrift shirt. I forget how much I pay for it, but I love it. Do you like my shirt, Jane? Mm -hmm. You do? Do you even know what shirt I have on, James? Mm -hmm. What does it look like, James? What color is it? White with black things. Ah, he did pay attention. <laughs> so I posted the wedding video and everybody was talking about how handsome you looked all dressed up in your shirt and tie. Told him you cleaned up very nice. Are you still sleepy, James? Thank you. <laughs> all right, we're just gonna enjoy spending some time out here until we get the call. to my mom's <laughs> gonna go stay with her tonight and then we're gonna get up in the morning and take her to have her surgery so that is where I'm headed and I'm sad to be leaving James and Buster but you know gotta do what you gotta do right so, anyway, it is hot, y'all. It is 95 degrees, and I swear the heat index has got to be over 100 because it is hot. I literally broke a sweat just walking out to my car. Insane. Totally insane. I got me a new um, car mount for my camera. I hope it, like, does good. <laughs> um, I think it's going to keep it out of the sun so I can film. And I'm hoping that you know it does better than the other one the one I had is kind of like messed up and wouldn't hold my phone as well and um, it was like coming off my phone would fall off my it would, the thing would fall off my windshield it was just crazy so I got a different one I don't know about the angle but it mounts to my rear view mirror so that's a plus Do y'all want to chat while we ride to Loosedale? Um, I think on my way, I'm going to stop by the Dollar General because, y'all, they have been really, really getting some cute home decor. And I am looking for a new rug to go in front of my sink and my stove. The one I have in front of my stove, it's horrible. It has definitely seen better days. But, you know, I like uh, having a rug there because when you cook or anything like that, it gets on that rug and not on the tile and in the grout and stuff. So, it has definitely served its purpose, but I'm wanting something different. So, I'm thinking about stopping there because they have really cute rugs. today you know for about an hour and a half while we went and had lunch with Tyler and them and then we come back home and James and I and Buster we got in the bed and we took a nap and I do not know what is going on with me it's like I cannot get enough sleep here lately uh, I 
I'm just so like run down and tired. I don't know what it is. Um, I, I just don't know. I don't know if it's the heat or what, but, and then, you know, got up and I folded a load of laundry and put another load in the dryer, which I'll get them tomorrow when I get home. It's just some sheets, no big deal. And, um, then I was like, just threw on some clothes and gonna go up here. And I'm going, it's like 4.30, but we're gonna be going to bed really early because we've got to be up really early. So, um, I'm just so sad. I didn't wanna leave my buster. get back to normal in my life oh my goodness I know I shouldn't be complaining and I'm not complaining I mean it's just but he is just he's like my kid you know he's with me 24 7 unless I just absolutely have to leave him and you know when you're used to having anything or anyone like that then it makes it really hard but <sighs> anyway, get up here and get me a shower and um, take me a Benadryl because y'all, my allergies have been kicking it today. So I might as well just take me a Benadryl, help me sleep too. So, anyway, <sighs> surgery day. Use the lighting, but it's still dark outside. Very restless night last night. And I was gonna get up and put some makeup on, and I'm like, I don't feel like it. I'm too tired. <laughs> so, your girl's going on at your rail today, but that's okay. It's not about me, it's about mama. So, I'll keep y'all posted. <laughs> okay, so I had to come get out in the car. Um, because I was freezing and I had I had a little jacket on, I had brought a little blanket, I'd come prepared and I had my cup, old faithful here, and it turned over and some of the drinks spilt out on it spilt spilt out in the chair and on the floor. And so I used my blanket to dry it up and so then I had to kinda like put my blanket up and I was freezing. But um, she is out of surgery. Uh, we ha we got here about 5.30, which she lives about 45 to an hour away from here. So we had to leave really early this morning. We got here at 5.30. They took her back around 6, 10 after 6. But they didn't take her into surgery until around 7 maybe a little after seven, about 7.30. And then I got a call and they said that she should be good to go. Like she was in recovery. The surgery went fine. She's in recovery. She's waking up, doing well. And that she should be ready to go around 9.45. So I still have about 20 minutes before it's 9.45, but, um, I was freezing, so I decided I would come out in the car. I need to charge my phone up because I didn't bring a phone charger and having to update everybody. And then I was watching some YouTube and all that kind of stuff. So it ate my battery up. But anyway, I'm out here in the car. I'm so tired. I look as tired as I feel. <laughs> but the main thing is she's come through surgery fine and he was very happy with how everything went. So... Now I just gotta wait till I can pull up and get her, and then I will take her and get her all settled in bed and let her start healing and recovering. And yeah, so that's the update on that. So James told me uh, he texted me this morning to make sure we made it okay and everything, and I was uh, asking how Buster did, and Buster did not do well. He kept James up. He said he woke up every two hours last night. And um, this morning when he left, 
um, he said, so he should sleep all day today, you know, which he normally sleeps in the day anyway. Like I literally have to go wake him up sometimes, but this morning, so sorry, this morning I got on my, cause I had that little camera on my mantle pointed to his bed. So I, that's why I keep an eye on him. Y'all, every time I would check on that camera, them little eyes was wide open. He is just wondering where in the world is his mama? Why has she forsaken him? What's happening? Is she coming home? But the last time I checked, about 30 minutes ago, he was sleeping. So hopefully he will sleep until I can get home. And then um, he will know that mama did not forsake him. But anyway, that's the update. That's where we're at. So I will talk to you in a little bit. Wave it, everybody, do you? <laughs> Hey, doing great. <laughs> I have a good nurse, too. Lena's not here. Well, you're my nurse. You've been my nurse many a time. I know, when I'm tired of it. I'm done. Okay. You don't pay well. Well, I'm your mommy. I, <laughs> I have the marks on my tummy. <laughs> All them's from Rob. The first ones wasn't. <laughs> So, she's giving me a hard time, so she's doing good. So, we're going to get her home and get her settled. And, yeah, she's going to be good. When the first thing she says is, I want a Coke and a biscuit, you know, all is well. True. Very true. <laughs>